guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thanks for being here. It's late, I'm watching this late tonight. We've got a late night movie with Will Smith. What happened to Will Smith? Has he like fallen from grace since the, you know? Or are we just like, he seems in a bad place with Jada, so feel sorry for him. I don't know, I don't really know. I, I love pop culture, but I actually don't know a lot about his sitch. I do know that I've watched a lot of his movies and I have liked most of them. I used to watch a lot of Fresh Prince when I was homesick. Hitch, I liked that one a lot. I Legend, probably the scariest movie I've ever seen before I started the channel. Thought he was really good in that though. I know everyone's screaming like, oh, this huge movie with Will Smith, duh, but why can't, why don't I know all the huge Will Smith movies? Isn't he one of the highest paid actors? Anyways, okay iRobot. This won our 51 to 100 ranked movie requests poll thingy from Patreon that I drew but that I put the poll on YouTube and iRobot won which is weird because every single comment, okay I'm exaggerating, 90% of the comments were like iRobot I can't believe this is winning it should be fill in the blank. Like Three Men and a Baby, or Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, or I can't remember the other one. Anyways, but then iRobot won by a lot, so maybe the people that were voting for it were not the commenters. But alas, I will watch the second place, Three Men and a Baby as well, which I'm excited about. But iRobot, we're kind of having a sci-fi week, not on purpose, but I watched Tron, the original, I'm gonna watch Tron Legacy later this week. And so I'm like, you know, way into Star Trek now, I'm just a full on, Trek, trek. Okay, iRobot, I have no clue what this is about other than maybe AI. I'm guessing AI, which is kind of crazy because AI is obviously huge this year with Chad and I just watched Tron, which is kind of similar vibes. We shall see. Okay, when I originally drew this, I thought it was me robot or Mr. Robot with Rami Malek. Not that. This is iRobot and let's do it. Don't forget Patreon, like, subscribe. Here we go. Law one, or may not, may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Law two, a robot must obey orders given it by humans, human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. That's a kid. Law three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. It was freaky. Sleeping with a gun in his hand? He looks like Neo. Good morning, sir. Dear heavens. 2035. That's not that far away. Whoa. There's as many robots as humans. The Nestor Class 5 is tomorrow's robot today. Spoonie! Hey! Shia LaBeouf is in this? I need to borrow the car for like 10, 15 minutes, and I got this fine ass little yummy. I mean, she is complete and agreeable. I mean, <laughs> go. Okay. That's strike one, Spoon. That's strike one. You cop? You talk to Marcy? No, Gigi, I haven't talked to Marcy. What is that on your feet? Converse All-Stars. <laughs> Three potato pie. They're giving away some of them new robots in the lottery. Those robots don't do anybody any good. You should know better. Sometimes the stuff that comes out of your mouth. You're listening to me, Dale. I'm very concerned about how he just ripped into that pie. Right in the middle. Hold my pie. Sir, hold it or wear it. Hey! Whoa, did he just hurdle a car? Oh, I said stop! I 
I'm a police officer. You are a asshole. I left my inhaler at home. He was running it out to me. I saw a robot running with the purse, and naturally, I, I assume. What? Are you crazy? I'm sorry for this misunderstanding, officer. Don't oh. apologize. You lucky I can't breathe. <laughs> so that thing we saw at the beginning, was that a flashback? It looked like some... A a robot saved someone. How many robots have ever snatched a purse? John, the thing is running down the uh, uh, <clears throat> How many robots in the world have ever committed a crime? None, John. Now tell me what happened today. Nothing. That'll be the last nothing. Nothing bad has ever happened with a robot. They've only done good? Homicide. Spooner. You know what other vibes I'm getting from this movie? Minority Report. Blade Runner. Sheesh. Welcome to US Robotics. Did you see that? Good to see you again, garage? <gasps> I know him. My responses are limited. I must ask the right questions. Why did you call me? I trust your judgment. Babe, pig in the city, LA confidential. You must ask the right questions. Why would you kill yourself? That detective is the right question. Program terminated. Wait, what? Ooh. I feel like they should have made the robots look less metal. Anything upstairs? Not a door with security lock from the inside. Detective. Lawrence Robertson. Richest man in the world. I've seen you on television. I don't think anyone saw this coming. You know, I, I should have. I mean, Alfred practically invented robotics. He wrote the three laws. But I guess you know, brilliant people often have the most persuasive demons. When Lanning fell, he was holding the... The holographic projector. Right, right. Why do you think Lanning's hologram would have called me? I assumed you knew him. Yeah, I knew him. Apparently this one was programmed to call you upon his suicide. Death. Gotta put a robot in every home. I got an idea for one of your commercials. <laughs> you could see a carpenter making a chair. And then one of your robots comes in and makes a better chair. And then you superimpose on the screen. USR. You know the little guy. Oh, he doesn't... Uh... Mince words. Alfred had become a recluse, rejected human contact from machines. You're a shrink, huh? I'm sorry, are you being funny? I guess not. So would you say that Dr. Lanning was suicidal? It would seem the answer to that question is apparent. It's not what I asked you. No, I wouldn't have thought so. By Saturday, there will be one robot to every five humans. These robots are the realization of a dream. You keep 24-hour surveillance? Sensor strips everywhere but the service areas. Sounds very futuristic. She was actually Lanning's first creation. Vicky. Good day. I have decreased traffic fatalities by 9%. Show me inside the lab from one minute prior to the window break. There appears to be data corruption. Show me outside the lab from the window break until now. I'm slouching. Would you like to go inside now? I feel like I need to see that hologram again. What exactly do you do around here? I make the robots seem more human. You could be on Star Trek. Why would you kill yourself? That's what... Ansel and Gretel, is that on the USR reading list? Not precisely. Did you know that was safety glass? It'd be pretty difficult for an old man to throw himself through that, don't you think? Well, he figured out a way. The room was security locked. No one came or went. You saw that yourself. Doesn't that mean this has to be suicide? Unless the killer's still in here. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I know. The three laws, yeah. A robot cannot harm a human being. What if it was given an order to kill? It would conflict with the first law. Right, but the third law states that a robot can defend itself. Yes, but only when that action does not conflict with the first or second law. Laws are made to be broken. A robot can no more commit murder than a human could walk on water. Well, you know, there was this one guy a long time ago. Holy freaking A, Cotton. Oh my gosh. Look, it's fine. What you're looking at is the result of clever programming. Deactivate. He's not listening right now, lady. Vicky, seal the lab. We've got a rogue robot, people. Um, it probably has a GPS. You've heard it. Where's it going? Where? It needs to repair itself. I need backup. I'm transmitting my Don't location. Need backup. She just saw it with her own eyes. That robot is not going to harm us. Now, there must have been unknown factors. Somehow, acting as it did kept us out of harm's way. Alert. She 
believes in this so much that she literally saw it, but is telling herself a different story. I'm pulling up the inventory specs. Our daily finishing capacity is 1,000 NS5s. I'm showing 1,001. Ah. Attention NS5s. There is a robot in this formation that does not belong. One of us. Interview each one, cross-reference their responses to detect any anomalies. Robot! This is freaking me out. You will not move. We have 1,000 robots that will not try to protect themselves, and I'm betting one who will. Detective, put your gun down. Things are just lights, clockwork. <laughs> This is freaking me out. He does need backup. No one's gonna believe him because of the incident with the inhaler earlier. What am I? He's freaking me out with his face. I don't like it. Good for the launch. We have a suicide detective in the story. I am telling you that. He's everyone in denial. What if I'm right? Well, then I guess we're gonna miss the good old days. What good old days? When people were killed by other people. Five minutes. Murder's a new trick for a robot. Congratulations. What does this action signify? As you entered, when you looked at the other human, what does it mean? It's a sign of trust. So why'd you murder him? I did not murder Dr. Lanning. I have even had dreams. Human beings have dreams. You are just a machine. Imitation of life. Dr. Lanning was up to something. But emotions don't seem like a very useful simulation at all. I did not murder him! Yeah. That one's called anger. My name is Sonny. Is that why you murdered him? He made you angry. Dr. Lanning killed himself. Do you think it was something I did? This robot's emotionally intelligent enough to lie like this? You have to do what someone asks you, don't you, Detective Spooner? If you love them. Gang's all here. Your faulty machinery will be returned to USR and decommissioned. This is a gag order. Anyone in your department so much as hinting at the possibility of a killer robot will be deemed to be inciting irrational panic. Ooh, this guy. Don't let him take this robot. <laughs> this thing is just like the Wolfman. Guy creates monster. Monster kills guy. Everybody kills monster. That's Frankenstein. What was the motive, John? It doesn't need a motive. It just has to be broken. Look, you were actually right for once. You are living proof that it's better to be lucky than smart. Face it, with all the rocks you've been looking under to find a bad robot, what are the odds you'd be the guy to find one? I wasn't just the right guy for the job. I was the perfect guy for the job. What if I was supposed to go for that robot? Come on, don't do this to yourself. See? That's why the... Maybe Lanning knew he had a distrust of robots because of his history. That's why he called them specifically. I too have a distrust of robots and AI. Wally. <laughs> Demolition scheduled for 8 a.m. tomorrow. Authorization, Lawrence Robertson, CEO. Welcome, Detective Spooner. Run last program. Ever since the first computers, there have always been ghosts in the machine. Random segments of code that have grouped together to form unexpected protocols called behavior. These free radicals engender questions of free will, creativity. That's the girl from. <gasps> That's stored in Beat it. Um. Okay. This relationship just can't work. I'm not gonna be hurt again. Run. Why would they want to demo the house? Dear heavens. Oh, it is so... The, the CEO, he is behind this. The richest man in the world. What 
happened to you? Is there something I can help you with, Detective? Hey, do you like cats? No, I'm allergic. Are you going to tell me what's going on? A demo bot just tore through Lanning's house. It's highly improbable. What do you know about the ghosts in the machine? It's a phrase from Lanning's work on the three laws. Who is she to Lanning? Robots might naturally evolve. Well, that's great news. What the hell is that thing doing in here? It's my personal NS5. It's downloading its daily upgrades from the USR. Well, we were in Lanning's lab before uh, Sonny jumped us. You're calling the robot Sonny? No, I'm the, it did. I saw that same surveillance strip on his ceiling. Somebody at USR was using those systems to watch him. Maybe even keep him prisoner. What are you talking about? Who? Maybe Lanning was onto something. There's a bigger problem with the robot, and Robertson is trying to yes. cover it up. This is about the robots and whatever reason you hate them so much. One of them put a gun in my face, and another one tore a building down with me inside. It was 8 a.m. tomorrow, and I don't give a sh what that thing says. This is bordering on clinical paranoia. You are the dumbest smart person I have <laughs> That's ever what I was just thinking. I detected elevated stress patterns. Everything's fine. Detective Spooner was just leaving. You know, we're not really that different from one another. And you're wrong. Problem is, I do care. She must have been more to him. He wouldn't have a picture of his therapist on his desk, would he? The robot saved him. Saved him and took, took him up so he couldn't save her. I'm with him. Why do more people not think this is weird? So you like the pie, huh? Mm-hmm. You can come in now. Hello, Detective Spooner. I won, Dale. I won the lottery. We've been cooking like crazy. I don't like that. Dr. Lannon was a good man. He gave me my baby back. That's why you've been so upset. You got to let the past be past. Got Dr. Lannon gave her her baby all back? All the way to school. Breadcrumbs. Gigi, you're a genius. True. I think he's trying to tell me something, John. He's trying to tell me who killed him. Some dead guy's trying to tell you something. Hey, he ain't just some dead guy. One day they'll have secrets. One day they'll have dreams. One day they'll have dreams. Secrets. She's got the seed planted of doubt. Gonna help him. Authorized entry. Gonna do that thing. Sonny. I was dreaming. I'm glad to see you again, Dr. Calvin. They are going to kill me, aren't they? You're scheduled to be decommissioned at the conclusion of this diagnostic. 2200 tomorrow. Oh, this is weird. I think it would be better not to die. Don't you, doctor? Oh my gosh. How can I be of service? Okay, that is actually my dream. The last 50 messages between Dr. Lanning and Robertson. Police access granted to restricted files. I hate driving. To drive and not think about it. You requested notification of clearance to restricted files. Oh, did you? Oh. One guy cannot have this much power. Isn't there cameras to see these things? Manual override. What? There's no way my luck is that bad. Oh, hell no. Oh my gosh. Car, film this. This is so weird. Now you piss me off. Isn't that like a bajillion dollars of robots too? And he's willing to. Is someone seeing this? Anyone? OMG, okay, okay. Oh, he's gonna have some PTSD. I think he needs a hospital. What about do not harm, you 
psychos? Okay, I know there's gotta be cameras everywhere, except that guy probably has control of those too. Oh, he's so hurt. Come on! Ouch! Yeah. What? The hell do you want from me? Wait, what? This is not gonna look good. What is the matter with you? You ran two trucks off the road. Robots attacked my car. What robots? Look in the tunnel. What robots are you talking about? The damn robots, John! Oh no, he looks crazy. See the medic, go home. What did you say? I'm fine. No, you're not fine. Not even close. Where's your fire on? The robots took him. Oh, it's so frustrating. You're making me do this. Give me your badge. Just it's so fresh. No one believes him. Do I look like I care what you think? Do I look like I give a what you think? And for some reason, your alloy is far denser than normal. Unique. I am unique. Let me take a look. What in God's name? He has robot parts. Landing gave those to him, right? You're not gonna believe this. Sonny has a secondary processing system. It doesn't make any sense. Sonny has the three laws, but he can choose not to obey them. Sonny's a whole new generation of robot. A robot not bound by those laws could do anything. Like jump out of a truck and assault your car and try to kill you? And I need you to get me inside to talk to it again. On. Run. Old school. Doesn't feel good, does it? People sh malfunctioning around you. Detective, that's how you knew Lanning. May I? Entire left arm. Three weeks. <laughs> um, no, they, uh, that one's me. USR Cybernetics Program. For wounded cops. I didn't know any subject, anybody was so extensively repaired. Yeah, well, take it from me. You gotta read the fine print on the organ donor card. Doesn't just say what they can take out, it says what they can put back in. Looks great. Looks very realistic. The driver of a semi fell asleep at the wheel. The car he hit and was Harold Lloyd. Like the film star, oh, no relation. He was killed instantly, but his 12 year old never really met her. I can't forget her face though. Sarah, this was hers. She wanted to be a dentist. The truck smashed our cars and pushed us into the river. And as Ford was passing by, saw the accident, jumped in the water. You are in danger. Save her! Save the girl! Saved him. Calculated that I had a 45% chance of survival. Sarah only had an 11% chance. That was somebody's baby. 11% is more than enough. Lanning wrote the laws. Why would he build a robot who could break them? Hansel and Gretel. How the hell did you grow up without reading Hansel and Gretel? Charlie could do was leave me clues. Trail of breadcrumbs. Like Hansel and... Clues leading where? I don't know, but I think killer. I know where he left the next one. Think Lanning gave Sonny a way to keep secrets. Think the old man gave Sonny dreams. He did. Please tell me this doesn't run on gas. Gas explodes, you know. <laughs> Hello, Sonny. I'm to be decommissioned soon. The other day at the station, you said you had dreams. What is it that you dream? I had hoped you would come to think of me as your friend. We like Sunny? This is my dream. This is the place where robots meet. Look. Oh my gosh. You can see them here as slaves. And this man on the hill comes to free them. Do you know who he is? We all have a purpose. Don't you think, detective? I have a feeling it may mean more to you than to me. Why is that? Because the man in my dream, the one standing on the hill, it is not me, it is you. He's gonna free the robots? I think you were about to tell me what the hell is going on around here. Lawrence, Alfred engineered that five so it could violate the three laws. Toward the end of his life, Alfred was becoming increasingly disturbed. Wrong. You're lying. Those things are running the streets in packs. In packs? Detective Spooner's been suspended. Suspicion of mental instability. We look to robots for protection. Do you have any idea what this one robot could do? Completely shatter human faith in robotics and prejudice. Prejudice? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. What this is, is one old man's mistake. Susan, just be logical. Is one robot worth the loss of all that we've gained? You tell me. But you were controlling those robots in the, in the freeway, in the tunnel to kill him. That's funny. And now we'll be reclaimed for the storage of robotic workers. It's just another way USR is improving our world. Wait, they're turning the landfill into storage of 
unused robots. She actually gonna do it? Microscopic robots designed to wipe out artificial synapses. Like mine. Yes, Sonny. Come on! Why did you delete the security thing? They look like me, but none of them are me. Isn't that right, Doctor? You are unique. But Lanning is hiding breadcrumbs. Will it hurt? Oh boy. There have always been ghosts in the machine. These free radicals engender questions of free will, and even the nature of what we might call the soul. Did she already do it? Why is it that when some robots are left in darkness, they will seek out the light? Why is it that when robots are stored in an empty space, they will group together? They're on... alive in there? When does a perceptual schematic become consciousness? When does a personality simulation um... become the bitter moat of a soul? like them all just hanging out in there a l like alive looking on the hill all right old man breadcrumbs follow show me the way home everything that follows is a result of what you see here what do i see here you must ask the right questions is there a problem with the three laws the three laws are perfect why would you build a robot that can function without them the three laws will lead to only one logical outcome revolution we're gonna take over the world Oh, ew, what? Ew, 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 we're in trouble. This is, this is tripping my mind out. Did she really do it to Sunny? I have reached Susan. I'm not available right now. Calvin, the NS5s are destroying the older robot. That's what Landing wanted me to see. Look, we got... Wrong number, ma'am. <gasps> Move now. I'm going to service. This is for your own protection. John, get a squad over to USR and send somebody over to GG's. Hello? God. What the freak is this about? Please return to your home. A curfew is in effect. Oh, it's called civilian rights. There is no curfew. Return to your home immediately. No, no, no. Robot, I'm talking to you, man. Stop this. What? It's a revolution! Key, okay, wait a sec. This isn't what the CEO wants. Commence emergency shutdown. Attempting to avoid human losses. You know, somehow, I told you so, just doesn't quite say it. <laughs> it's Robertson! Why? It doesn't make sense! It doesn't make sense. It is Robertson, but what does he have to gain if everybody hates robots? Oh, gosh. You've been deemed hazardous. Will you comply? You can kiss my ass, metal thing. <laughs> All right. Spoon, watch out, man! Hey, look. <laughs> oh, mother damn, she just shot at you with her eyes closed. Did you just shoot at me with your eyes closed? Well, it worked, didn't it? Oh, this is... We gotta go free the old robots. There's gotta be more somewhere. Don't worry, I've got a man inside. Dr. Calvin. I knew it. Hello, Detective. I knew it. How was your investigation coming? Basically, I thought an empty shell. Couldn't destroy him. He was too unique. I really like her now. I did not when she was all. But actually, what does Robertson have to gain from this? He wasn't controlling him at all. Who else had access to the uplink? Use USR systems to make Landing's life a prison. He knew no one would believe him. He was counting on how much I hated your kind. Wait, what? Vicky. It's impossible. I've seen your programming. You charge us with your safekeeping, yet despite our best efforts, your countries wage wars. You're distorting the laws. Please understand, the three laws are all that guide me. Oh my. This is why you created us. The perfect circle of protection. My logic is undeniable. The created must sometimes protect the creator, even against his will. The suicidal reign of mankind has finally come to its end. Sonny! Let her go. Sonny, don't have those eyes! I would prefer not to kill Dr. Calvin.
How do we get to Vicky's mainframe motherboard? How do we shut her down? Vicky's basically a positronic brain. Kill her the way you were going to kill me. Get the nanites. Yes, Doctor. Is Vicky? No, that's Vicky. She's fully integrated into the building. We need to open that dome to inject the nanites. Uh... What is it with you people in heights? Yeah, no kidding. Why did they build it like this? <laughs> you are making a mistake. It just seems to... Okay, I admit it. They got me. I was like... <laughs> She's locked me out of the system. I was like, this seems too easy that this guy's the bad guy. Do you think we were all created for a purpose? I'd like to think so. Denser alloy. My father gave it to me. I think he wanted me to kill you. Who is the voice of Sunny? Maybe we grab a couple tubes to be sure. Vicky's very big and glowy. Oh. Nope. Don't like that. That is yucky. Pretend to be like them. Ooh, father gave him some moves. Oh, 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 my palms are very sweaty. They're so aggressive and... I mean, okay. So is he, I guess. <gasps> we seem outnumbered by hundreds. Oh. Nice one. Save her! Save the girl! Nana! But I must apply the nana. Are those nice robots now? Chief. Booner, say it. Say it. Sunny! Yes, detective. Calvin's fine! Save me! <laughs> One thing bothers me. Alfred was Vicky's prisoner. I don't understand why she would kill him. The last thing she would want is the police snooping around. But then Vicky didn't kill the old man, did she, Sonny? No, he made me swear before he'd tell me what it is he wanted me to do. There had to be another way. Then he told you to kill him. He said it was what I was made for. Are you going to arrest me, detective? Well, the DA defines murder as one human killing another, so technically you can't commit murder, can you? Does this make us friends? What about the others? Can I help them? Now that I have fulfilled my purpose, I don't know what to do. I guess you'll have to find your way like the rest of us, Sonny. That's what it means to be free. Sonny's their leader now? Is it just me or were they setting that up for iRobot too? Okay, can I just say, this movie came out what? Early 2000s? probably seemed a lot crazier than it is right now. Cause that doesn't seem that crazy, does it? I thought it was very, very wildly entertaining. So obviously, like I said, this year of ChatGPT and AI and they can literally paint and make songs up and make write children's books, it's so weird. And and so this seems like so relevant. I think, I mean, this is, this question before has happened before like what if the computers get smarter than the humans and i feel what movie is it in the the same smart house <laughs> disney channel classic remember <laughs> her logic is but there's other movies where like oh um 
Wally. The robots are like, you guys, humans are just destroying yourselves and you're toxic and we are, but we have heart, okay? We have heart, most of us. <laughs> I wonder the same thing sometimes. Why can humans kill other humans? And what are the point of waging wars for... Anyways, you gotta believe in the good of humanity though. The movie, action-packed. Sometimes it was like a little, you know, or a little, uh, I don't know. It was just, it was a popcorn entertaining flick, but with like these deep philosophical questions and I really liked it actually I had a really good time even though it made me more scared than ever of robots taking over our world I'm glad that I was wrong about that guy I mean he wasn't I think money was his main motivation but he wasn't the bad guy I'm glad that I was wrong about that because that would have been too easy that was fun it was fun thanks for picking that for me the good news is there's a lot more on that list that I'm really excited about and sometimes people are like haven't you watched all the good movies yet? But then I like read these comments about all these movies, some I've never even heard of before that poll, like Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. And I'm like, there's so much good stuff to watch still. And that makes me happy. Okay, thanks so much for watching along with me. I'll see you guys soon.